you doing? Warning you, keep back! Come on, think this through! Yeah, do something! Shut up! Shut up! Tell us, Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... They're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine, for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like Decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Billy, listen, I get it. You're angry, but we need Laura alive. She's the only one here familiar with what we're dealing with. And what good does it do us if she keeps that intel to herself? Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner. Ah, I... shut it. What kind of soldier are you? You think about only the danger that you deal with, but we are all in this together. We can be in this without her endangering our every move. But what is all this? She's a liar. How can you deny that? How did she lie? Because she wouldn't tell us information without knowing the facts? She could have speculated. No. Speculating could have led us into even more danger. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! Injun is the enemy here. They spoiled the island. They made these monsters. You can't make her pay for all that Injun has done. Maybe. Put down the knife. We need to work together, all of us. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc. Let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got her. Just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decap. Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done, agreed? Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. see anything. Maybe it's clear. What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? Are you okay? Jess, hon, leave him alone. Billy, we should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. Tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. <laughs> hmm. 
locked. I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! A flare kit. A flare kit. Jess, stay away from the vents. No more sneaking off, understand? I'm not going anywhere, Dad. Excremento. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. I hate being trapped on here like a rat. So this whole trip was like, set up to scare me away from shoplifting? Mission accomplished. Understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ova um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating. But these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. Maybe we should get going. Are you sure? Yeah, if you're ready, Billy. Did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, 
According to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. Damn. They're coming through the vent! Past the door. <laughs> Terry, get that grate open. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll break that something. Oh no! Which 
way, Laura. I don't know where we are anymore. We, we need to head towards the north. It's a junction box. Which line go towards... must have taken a wrong turn! feet underground. I have no idea where we are. We can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. I just don't have enough details to make a decision. I don't have enough to go on here. I need details, landmarks, something unique. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. There's a ladder on the right, and on the far wall at the end. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Look down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right.
There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. Hey, Chica. We still cool? Why don't you come over here and find out, Yoder? Yeah. I know that trick. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. What should I be looking for, Doc? Large pipes, electrical boxes, tanks, ladders. Oh, even the direction of the corridor helps. Just keep looking. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. What do you think, Jess? This one? Sure. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. Okay, these symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does it help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. What do you think, Jess? This one? Sure. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Okay, we can eliminate this one. Okay. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. Wait, wait. This isn't right. This isn't how the plans described our route. Great. We made a mistake. Real good. We can't go back there now. What now, huh? Oh no. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. Okay, we can eliminate this one. Okay. I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. Wait, wait. This isn't right. This isn't how the plans described our route. Great. We made a mistake. Real good. We can't go back there now. 
What now, huh? Oh, no. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. What is it? Down there, I have to go find her. What? Back down there with those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing, surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? I don't know. I don't even know where we are. I'll figure out where we are. Sorkin was following water mains. Where would they go? Most of the water is piped in from a lagoon to the north. Lagoon. I know this place. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. 
grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. I didn't realize this island had been inhabited before. Injun moved your people? They promised us homes and medicine. Education. They didn't keep their promise. I guess from a point of view they did. But the homes were slums and the medicine was extra or half used or contaminated. We had schools but no teachers. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. Spared no expense. Hammond. The man who made all this. He runs Injun. It's something he always says. He'll spend whatever it takes to make the park a success. So, he spent it all on the dinosaurs. Not on my people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. He sounds like a brave man. Were you too close? When we were on the island, yes. We were always together. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. What is Sibo? That mountain there. It is like a house, my father said. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before Injun. And my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima! Little fish! Little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. You remind me of Jess. I mean, that's how it used to be with us before the divorce. I'd take her to the museums or to the zoo. She'd always climb up onto things, you know, such a climber. She can't not climb over things, into things. Climbed into a tiger pen once. <laughs> With a live tiger. But not anymore? No, things haven't been the same since the divorce. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher. And at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes, it's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I will take her after this job. That's a good strong name, and a good city. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be and refuse the fisher's bait. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. Just changed my life too. Choose my second. Second wife, second daughter. Apparently I'm the genetic carrier of rebellion because both my daughters got it. I worked so hard to protect Jess and keep her out of trouble. What about you? 
Did you turn out so good because your parents kept you out of trouble? Me? I was a little hellion myself. Uncontrollable. <laughs> it's in my genes. Mm. Oh, now you know this is different. Still, one thing Jess really hasn't had in her life is a present father figure. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very proud of you. Thank you, Jerry. I... I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew. Nima, look, I... What is it? I'm sorry about what InGen has done to your island. This isn't the way things should have been done. I don't blame you, Jerry. You're a good person. I see that. But I take my pay from InGen. I owe you something. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Shh. Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern-day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. Would you look at this? What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. That's a lot of fish. How many whales are they feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks could feed three or four orcas per day. Oh, you're a fish expert now. I can make an educated guess. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Hold up. I hear something. 